came together to discuss what they say is the most urgent issue facing the city, the crime crisis. Now, this conference and all these conversations came about as a new report raises serious questions about the effects state-mandated reform laws are having on public safety here. The New World Theater was packed with prominent business leaders and elected officials brought together by the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce to find solutions to the quality of life crimes and shoplifting that have become daily occurrences. Views on public safety is one of the most controversial issues right now. There is disagreement about how to combat crime and there's even disagreement about whether New York's crime problem is more perception or more reality. In 2022, the NYPD says crime overall rose 22.4 percent for the year, but there were some improvements. Mayor Adams addressed the crowd and defended police. We're getting our hands around uh, the guns that have proliferated our street, 7,000 guns removed off our street, uh, 4,400 arrests, a 27-year high. People say our cops are feeling that their morale is low. That is just not true. While bail reform has been blamed for repeat offenders committing crimes over and over again, a new report by the Manhattan Institute shines a light on discovery reform. It found many cases were thrown out because they timed out of the shorter deadlines prosecutors are given to turn over evidence to defense attorneys. In 2019, before discovery reform was enacted, in New York City, 44% of cases, of all cases that were disposed, were dismissed. In 2021, that number was 69% of all cases were dismissed, thrown out, not pursued. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg spoke on the panel at the summit. DA Bragg says the state mandates came without additional resources. We caught up with him for a one-on-one -on -one interview. I think that is a significant issue for public safety, as we've seen dismissals of cases uh, when uh, prosecutors throughout the state aren't able to make uh, the, the kind of speedy trial clock because they're not able to turn over the required discovery in time. And we need to revisit that issue both from funding and looking at ta technical changes to the statute. Now, D.A. Bragg also told us that the sheer volume of digital evidence in all of these cases has increased exponentially, even as prosecutors are using outdated technology, in some cases more than 10 years old. As for the business leaders, they say unless these crime issues are resolved quickly, the city's economy will continue to erode.